Now, the purpose of this video is to show you a great free reverb we could use with Reaper that works with both Mac and PC and sounds really good. It's based on the Bricasti M7 reverb and sounds pretty close to the real thing. So let's take a look how it sounds on some common sources. I have a project set up here with some vocals, drums, and guitars. Let's hear what it sounds like now. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Now both the vocal and the drums sound pretty dry. Let's hear it with just the drums. Like I said, the drums and vocals sound pretty dry. So let's add some reverb using the free Magic 7 reverb on the drums. We can get that plugin on this website right here. I'll put the link to it in the description below. And again, it's completely free to download and use. And if it's installed correctly, it'll show up in reverb. So let's create a new track for our drum reverb. I'm gonna name it drum verb because we're using it on drums. Go to the effects on this track, search in the filter magic, and it should show up. Double click it, and it looks like this. So because we're using this as an effects return, let's send our drums to this track. We'll start with the kick, drag the routing and drop it on this track, give it some level, do the same with the snare, and the overheads. Now for the reverb, we need to turn the mix knob to 100%. So this track is all reverb as the dry drums are all coming from the original tracks. We don't want to blend on the effects return. Let's hear what it sounds like. It's a bit too big with a chamber. We can go through here and choose different types of sounds and presets to go with them based on those type of sounds. We got halls, nonlinear plates. Let's see the snare plate. We could adjust the ensemble or the intensity or how big it sounds. You could also choose this flux, which makes it sound really weird. Let's put it back. To ensemble. We could also adjust the pre delay to add a delay to the beginning of the sound. If you want something more rhythmic, but for this, I don't think we need it. We could boost the lows or the highs. But let's try out some room sounds. Here's the back room. One of my favorites is this heavy room. Let's go for something weirder, like this glass room. Let's hear it before. Pretty dry. And pretty dramatically different. Let's hear it with percussion, bass, and guitars. I think it sounds pretty good right there. So let's try using this reverb for the vocal. Again, the vocal is pretty dry. What's the angle? And I'm gonna add two reverbs to this to layer them for a different, more unique sound. Again, we'll create a new track. I'm gonna name the first one Ambience as it's gonna be a shorter, more tight sound. Again, we'll go to the effects, add that plugin. 
which again looks like this. And we'll send some reverb by dragging and dropping the routing to this track. Let's send it some level. Let's hear it with the ambience. And again, the mix 100%. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Again, it's nice and short, using very small reflections. Before. What's the angle? And after. What's the angle? Now it's add a longer reverb to blend it in. We'll turn this one off. We'll duplicate this track. We'll name this one Reverb Hall. And because we duplicated it, it's already sending to this reverb. So we'll turn this one off and just hear this one. We'll switch it to some spaces. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business. Well, we could try some plates. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business. Let's try out the halls to see the difference. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Now this hall sounds pretty good, but I think it sounds a bit dark. So let's solo it and EQ just the reverb. What's the angle? Add an EQ after the reverb. I'll use re EQ and just EQ the reverb, cutting off some low end. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. And boosting the top end. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business. Before. What's the angle? It's pretty dark and dense, but for the vocal, I want it to sound a bit brighter. What's the angle? Let's hear it with the vocal. What's the angle? Before. What's. And after. What's the angle? Now let's hear it with the ambience. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. And finally, let's hear it with the other tracks. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. Let's hear it completely dry for the drums and vocal. What's the angle? I'm not playing that. Pretty dramatically different. The reverb back on. What's the angle? I'm not playing that. I think it sounds dramatically better and pretty nice for a free reverb. So that's pretty much it. That's the Magic 7 free reverb in Reverb. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.